For those who might not know, Ender Lilies is a 2D Metroidvania Souls-like game by Livewire and Adglobe that stands out thanks to its exceptional presentation and emotional depth, which is fairly typical of the genre. After playing the game, I found it to be an accessible title within the Souls genre, leaning towards being less challenging but making up for it with rewarding character development, boss design, and exploration. The announcement of a sequel, Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist, was very exciting for me. The early access version offers a 90 minute to 2 hour gameplay experience showing promise as an action game that still needs some work. Ender Magnolia is set in the Land of Fumes, where a kingdom created magical beings known as Humunculi to help them thrive, but toxic fumes have turned the Humunculi against the kingdom. The protagonist in this adventure is Lilac, an attuner who can rescue an ally with these beings. Lilac aims to uncover the truth behind the lost memories and find their friends. I should mention that the story is somewhat limited at this stage, with most of the narrative being delivered through notes. Lilac has a clear motivation, but the gameplay remains the final draw in this early version. The combat feels similar to Ender Lilies, which might raise questions about the game's distinctiveness. However, the sequel focuses more on interactions between Lilac and the Humunculi. Early in the game, players can recruit multiple Humunculi, each with unique abilities that range from simple sword attacks to ranged shots and powerful punches. Players must strategically upgrade their Humunculi using limited resources, adding depth to the customization options. Movement and combat feel fluid, enhanced by an early dash ability that adds dynamism to the action. The early access version of Ender Magnolia is pretty linear, with little room for exploration or deviation. A notable concern that I had is the ease of enemy and boss encounters, with slow attack telegraphs and an overpowered range of Humunculus. This lack of difficulty, even more pronounced than it was in Ender Lilies, could detract from the experience for Souls-like fans. Additionally, there were a lot of technical issues, like crashes during the launches or screen transitions, likely due to this early access status. Despite these concerns, Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist is shaping up to be an engaging sequel that builds on the strengths of Ender Lilies. The combat variety and atmospheric soundtrack are highlights, and there's potential for the final version to appeal to both fans and newcomers. However, balancing the difficulty to enhance the challenge and learning curve would greatly improve the gameplay experience. Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist is currently being developed for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixels run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Now, enjoy some gameplay.
Mais, 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 mais,